So for the last 10 years of me teaching, I've been doing this assignment called Matt's Head. Uh, Matt is my brother-in-law, so I married his older sister. And when I first started teaching, um, I thought it would be hilarious if I got everybody, uh, all my students over the years, to put Matt's head on someone else's body. And so I'm going to show you a few uh, great examples from over the years. So you're going to be taking my brother's head, cutting it out with the pen tool, and I'm going to teach you how to use the pen tool, and then putting them on someone else's body and try to make it look as realistic as possible. So in the assignment, you're going to need my, my brother's head, the actual photo, uh, so you can copy that. And then if you go into Photoshop, so I am creating a new document and it's going to be from the clipboard. Go edit paste. And here's my brother's head. So I'm going to use my navigator and I'm going to enlarge it so I can see a majority of his head. And then I'm going to get the tool called the pen tool. And the pen tool is the old school looking pen. What I want to do is, because I'm not 100% sure whose body I'm going to put him on yet, I'm just going to cut him out as best as possible. So I'm going to follow along, close up. I might get to like 300% just so I have a little bit more detail and can see everything a little bit better. I'm just going to follow this path around. Now the important part is at the very end of my path, I'm going to try and close it. Now notice how when I go on my start point, there's a little circle that opens up. Do you guys see that? The little circle? That closes that. It closes the path. And then what I can do is two finger click. I want to make it a selection and I'm going to feather it two pixels. So again, that's two finger click, make selection, and then feather by two pixels. Now I have my brother's head that's cut out, okay? I can go edit, cut, or copy, and there's my brother's head. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're taking your um, selection off the pen tool because a lot of you might accidentally click on the pen tool when you open up a new document and then you can't do anything if you've got one path selected and it's just very confusing. So as soon as you're done with your selection, unclick the uh, pen tool, just put your, put your cursor over the move tool. The next thing we need to do is we need to find something that uh, we're gonna put my brother's head on. Someone famous, someone relevant today. So we're going to do Donald Trump. So again, oh, Donald Trump, didn't spell it right. When we're doing that, we want to make sure that we are going to the tools. We want large size pictures only. And it's very, very important to make sure that uh, when you're grabbing the photo, that it's got to be at least 1,000 pixels wide. We want to make sure it's a high enough quality. Oh, this, this could be good. This one's 12 
1200 pixels by 800 pixels. That's pretty good. So I'm going to copy that. Going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to go File New. Paste. Now back here, I have cut out my brother's head, so I'm just going to go cut again, and then I'm going to go to my new document, and I'm going to go edit, paste. Okay, so there's Matt's head. Let's work on him a little bit larger. And as you can see, uh, the quality of my brother's head is probably a little bit higher quality than Donald Trump's head. Um, in terms of the pixels. So what I can do is I can make it smaller. And what I'm gonna do is hold down Command T. That is Edit Free Transform. If uh, you're going up top, Edit Free Transform there. And then what I can do is hold Shift and Shift will constrain the proportions. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and I'm gonna keep constraining the proportions. And now it looks like my brother has a fairly large neck compared to Donald Trump, who's old and a little saggy. So I'm gonna need to get rid of some of my brother's neck, but uh, at least we can kind of see that that's starting to look good. Uh, the next thing that I would do is I would just uh, change the opacity of my brother's head so that I can kind of see uh, Donald Trump's eyes and mouth and try and align them in a similar spot. And I'm noticing that his head is still a little big, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And the other thing, I think that's good. I'll just increase my opacity, and I think that's pretty good. Now, you may notice, you may notice that there's, that's weird, Siri started. Okay, so one thing that you may notice is what's wrong with it so far? Well, uh, the neck does not look like it fits there. So I need to go and I need to cut out the ring around his neck here. So I'm gonna do that just with my polygonal lasso tool here. And I wanna make sure that it's gonna look like the collar and make, make it look like it actually fits into this here. Okay, so now I can see that Okay, that's cool. Now, right now I'm kind of stuck. So I'm gonna go to select, save selection, and I'm gonna call it uh, neck cutout. Okay, and then I'm gonna just deselect. Now I'm gonna have to move Matt's head over just a little bit more so that it's gonna fit on uh, Donald Trump's neck, and now I'm gonna go f select load selection, neck cutout, okay, and I'm going to actually cut this part out of uh, my brother's neck. So I'm gonna get my eraser tool, and I'm just going to erase that. Now I don't want to erase anything where his neck actually 
is there. So I'm just going to be careful right here. I'm going to select deselect. And now it's looking actually really, really good. Okay. But you may notice that some of Donald Trump's uh, hair and his ears are still there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next step in sort of getting rid of the background so that his head uh, isn't um, sort of coming in and pushing back and forth between Donald Trump's head and Matt's head. So I'm just going to close my eyes on Matt's head. I'm going to get the clone stamp tool and I'm going to go to the layer that Donald Trump's head is on, which is the layer one. And I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. If I press alt and click let go, then what it's going to do is it's going to copy everything that is sort of beside it. You, you might notice the, the, the crosshairs. Um, that's copying exactly the location from where I've selected. So I alt click, let go and then move it over and it will be selecting areas from beside it. There we go. So that's good. And now I'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to go alt click, let go. And I will There we go. So it looks like most of his hair is gone in the places that I think it's going to be important. Just going to zoom back out, open my brother's head up so I can see that. And that looks amazing. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, Matt's uh, skin tone is actually very similar to Donald Trump's uh, regular skin tone, just not his orange face. So it actually matches pretty well. But this is where you would take uh, the last lesson where I was changing the levels and curves. And you can go image adjust levels. And you could change the color of the background. So this is the background to get them to match a little bit more. So I'm lightening things up a little bit. Um, and you could also go onto my brother's head and you could go image adjustments and you could actually change the hue or the color or the saturation and make him brighter and more saturated or dull and less saturated. And I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to desaturate him a little bit just because he was in a bright space. And there you go. I'm going to then save it as Matt's head underscore James. Change the format to a JPEG and save that. I hope you learned a lot. This lesson teaches you how to use the pen tool, how to use the clone stamping device, and how to use and manipulate a saturation and all the image adjustments. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.